Welcome everyone, today we have a new weekly update video for Lost Ark. As we can see over here, the weekly update is actually one day earlier, and this week up weekly update is going to be seven hours. So this is going to be a pretty long and also lengthy update. And coming from the notes over here with, with the weekly update, we can see the character slot no longer taking up extra slots, and also there was some fix with emocons and also the fix with the battle pass. And also this talk about exploit in the rapport system. The bigger focus for this weekly update is finally some additional information on the May update, which we'll have a look over here with the summaries. What is the earliest time for the May update and also what is the latest time for the May update? We'll also talk about the longer queue time that we have been experiencing on the servers and also what's happening with the bots. Now on the second part of this video, we'll also look into some additional response from the official devs on the forum about certain questions that players might have as regards to the release of the Velton patch, the bots, and also the queuing, and also the homing buff. We'll have a look at some of those responses about what's happening with you know, classes, and will we get another express event, and will there be a battle pass for the destroyer new class that will be released with a May patch. So we'll have a look at some of those responses. And finally, we're looking to some of the market predictions and also items of interest. Because the update is one day earlier, some of the items could be a little more profitable because of that. So we'll have a look at this and try to make some additional gold. You can see some of my gold is invested into items over here. I'll explain my logic and let's see if we can make additional gold this week because of the change of dates. And also what are the potential to make more gold with the coming of the May update. Now coming back to this week's update notes, I think the biggest focus over here for us is going to be this paragraph. So this basically says the May content update is planned to be released no sooner than the third week of May, which will be on the 19th of May. So on this particular date, so this is the third week of May, and usually the patch usually comes on a Thursday. So if we have a look at the dates over here, we can see the Thursday will be the 19th of May. Now there is also a chance of this getting released on the 26th of May, which is going to be the fourth week and the last week. So last week, last week. So the last week will be on the 26th of May, and this will be the latest date for the Velton patch of for the May update. Now the bigger question is, will we get the Velton patch or not? So we can see a lot of response over here and questions about whether Velton raid and also the Legion raid, you know, the new content will be coming with the Velton patch. So we can see some of the response at the moment. So they're still looking to data and they're still trying to make this decision. So there is no confirmation whether we'll get Velton or not on the May update, which is quite concerning. I'm really hoping this is the case and I do think like looking at this response from Fang over here, you can see a lot of players are staying low because they are saving up a lot of gold. They're not homing. Hopefully, if the developers look into the statistics, statistics over here, they don't get the misleading ideas of players are not high level enough because some players are just prefer to exchange resources into gold and hoping for a lower price and then go for homing when a patch comes out. So players are reluctant to go for higher gear level until the new patch, new content comes out. And if those information are used as misleading information to delay the Velton patch, that wouldn't be a good idea. So this is just my personal insights on this. So hopefully the Velton patch or the May patch comes by the 26th of May, the latest. And I do think this is what we're all hoping for. And likely this is a speculation from the community. Now, as for the May patch, so if we look into the calendar over here, or if we look into the login event, notice the login event over here also says the 17th of May, and this will be the end of the login. And then likely we get a new, you know, monthly login. So this also indicates that, you know, it's likely and also scheduled to have the May patch by the 19th of May. And, you know, at the current rate, it is highly likely we'll get a Velton patch. And this is something quite big for the server and also to get the players back into the game. And over here we have another question about Velton is to come in the May update. And we're waiting for the official announcement. So this will likely going to be early this month. And once the official announcement comes and notice that this is something I want to show to you guys. So this is looks like Velton is a yes for the May rate update. So the May Legion rate for Velton is a yes. But notice that he also mentioned this is not an official announcement. This is just some like insights. But usually when they share insights and hints like this, it is very likely the May update will contain the Legion raid patch. And this is something we want to be aware of this. And this is why over here I was talking about this could be those dates for the Velton patch to be released. 
Now on the topic of getting more players back into the game, what I'm sure some of you have noticed, and me and my friends also noticed, is there seems to be a longer queue time during the nights or the you know the server reset time of the game, and there seems to be more bots. Now this was not addressed over here, but I did find some you know comments over here about you know VPN blocks and also the bots that is an ongoing concern in the game, and they're still trying to address this, but currently we don't see any official announcement about those bots. Hopefully those gets under controlled. And some of my friends were suggesting that, remember there was an early message from the developers about lowering the server capacities of certain servers. I think my server is one of them, because right now we're getting a queue every day at the you know the peak time. So maybe the server capacity is lowered. That's why with the addition of bots, that's why we're getting a larger queue time. But this is not really confirmed. And hopefully this gets addressed with the Vaulting patch because then there will be an influx of players. And, you know, we don't want to queue up for like an hour or two just to play the game, right? Sometimes we don't even have the time to play after that. Now, on the final part of the, this week's update, there seems to be a line saying fix an exploit with a rapport system. W what's the exploit? I don't even know the exploit. Can someone tell me? <laughs> so I'm hoping the exploit is not the skip of the rapport voucher stats requirement. Sometimes you can give NPCs a lot of reporting gift and skip some of their requirements and, you know, skip a tier. Hopefully this is not exploit because this is something I plan to do with some of my reporting NPCs because my voucher stats are terrible. <laughs> I haven't really worked on my voucher stats. You can see I need like 300 for those and I only have 200. So I hope it's not that. And if only we knew the exploit for the rapport system, right? We could got a lot of rapport going. So this is just something on the side. Let me know if you guys know about this. And we're not trying to exploit it, but we're just wondering if the skip rapport voucher requirement still works in the reporting of the gift. So let us know in the comments, guys, if you know about this. Now, because we also have a lot of questions on the Velton patch and also what's coming, so I decided to have a look at some of the response with the developers. So the first one is about when Velton will be coming to the game, and this is not confirmed at the moment. The second one was about bots, bots and also VPN. Notice that it is a general reminder that using VPN is against the terms of service of the game. So you could be temporary banned or you can be, you know, penalized for using VPNs. So be aware of this, guys. And coming to the next question about the homing buff for Velton. So notice that this is not expected and not planned for the May update. Later on, this could be happening, but at the moment, this is not expected. They will be giving us additional materials, but they won't increase the they won't increase the rate of homing. So if you guys are waiting for a homing buff, it is likely not coming in May, but it could come in the future months. Now, the next question we might have is about the new class that will be Destroyer, the new Warrior class. Now, the question is, would we get Express event or would we get like a power pass in the sense of for the new class? And at the moment, it is likely there will not be new ones as of the current event is running throughout of month of June. So that means what I have been doing is I have been saving my Express event. So I haven't selected a character yet. So I'm planning to use this one on my Destroyer. And I think that's a good call seeing this response. And also, in terms of the power pass, there's something that's still be discussed. So power pass is not confirmed at the moment. So because I, if you mind, so basically the response is saying if you have a power pass, also save this one for the destroyer maybe because it is being discussed. It is not guaranteed that we'll get a power pass for the destroyer. And in that sense, I'm saving both of my battle pass and also my express event for the destroyer, just so I have enough resource to push him through to tier three. And finally, there was also a question about rapier class being released. And at the moment, there's something that is not shared at the moment because the roadmap only covered two months and the content plan ahead is going to be shifting around and depending on the changes and the outlook. So we're not sure what's happening with new classes. So we only know about the Glavia and also the destroyer, the destroyer for now. So we're not sure about further classes that is coming into the game for now. Now, coming over to the final part of the video, I do want to spend some time to talk about potential profit making and what's happening to the prices of items in the server. Because as you guys can see with the market lately, so you can notice that there have been some fall of prices with a lot of the homing items. And basically, there's a few things. I'm sure you guys have noticed that at the moment, it is likely a lowest point for the price of items for this week and also next week until we have the confirmation of the Velton patch and also the Velton rate. And when that is confirmed, we will be, you know, boosting into higher prices. And this is when we can make some profit. 
Now, there's also several reasons that why the price is steadily falling. One is that because most players are selling items for gold, because just to attempt each of the homing, this will cost about 200 to 400 gold. And if you don't believe me over here, you can see uh, basically over here, you can see just to attempt at homing over here is 540 gold. And over here for me is 280 gold for 17 to 18. So players actually needing a lot of gold just to attempt the homing. Plus that the new hype for the new class is over. There's also no new content at the moment. And also Arc Pass also provides some much needed homing materials. Players are having less demand to buy the homing materials. And also players just don't have enough items for the homing materials. And the rates are terrible. <laughs> so all those combined, players are not willing to spend in the game to buy items. And this is why the price has been falling. Because players will get those items every week because of the, you know, the reset of the Chaos Gate. But players are not buying those items as much at the moment. Now, knowing that this week's update is going to be an early update and this will be a seven hour maintenance, we do have some items I want to focus on that can still be profitable if we look into those. So some of the items I think were rising in price on the Thursday reset, and this was you know slowly to fall after, it is probably going to be the honor pouches. So I'm still looking at all the honor pouches. And over here, you can see I'm actually trading the honor pouches myself. So those are some of the items I think that will go up in price. And that's why I have listed them a little high in price. After that, I do think the honor lipstone will continue to fall. Notice that this is worth about you know 40 gold, 38 gold. Now it's down to 32 gold. Because of the new hype for the new class is getting lower, the honor pouch, the honor lipstones and greater honor lipstones are likely going to fall a little bit. Finally, in terms of the solar blessing, solar grace, and also solar protection over here, <laughs> it's over here, so solar protection, I do think those prices might see a small rise then fall down a little bit. But at the moment, I do think those are considered to be a low point for those items. And one of the reasons those is a low point is that if we come over to the currency exchange, you can see it's about 600 gold for 95 crystals at the moment. And I have not really been buying much of the Mario Secret Shop because other than Solar Blessing, everything else is not worth it. The Solar Grace is not worth it anymore. The Solar Protection is not worth it. So... You know, also the on the lipstone is definitely worth it, right? So, but it's not as you know good of a saving anymore. So, in that sense, those items is actually cheaper on the market. So, when the market item is actually cheaper than the Mario Secret Shop, what that means is either the price of gold to crystals would reduce. So, this is likely going to fall from six hundred maybe to five hundred. All that the market price is actually below the value. And if the market price is below the value, and if we're planning to trade those items, what I do plan is if the price do fall lower, if Solar Grace falls to 20 gold, if the Honor Shards falls below, like say 17 gold, and Solar Blessing, if this falls to, to about 70 gold, and finally Solar Protection, if this one falls to about 160 gold, I'll be buying into a lot of those. So notice I'm still trading with a lot of my gold at the moment. So my goal is to buy them at the lowest point and hold on to them for about a week until the Valton patch comes out, or maybe two weeks. And if I can achieve that, likely I can make about anywhere from 40 or 50% profit. And this is my biggest investment in planning. And I do want to look into this very soon. So I'll be making a video. Oh, this is a discount. Look, six gold. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> so this was selling for six gold for 12 dollars and it's nine gold, right? I was like, I'm going to buy six gold and sell over eight gold. <laughs> and then that wasn't happening. And this is, could be a little discount. So notice that I want to show you something. I want to show you guys something quickly. So it's, notice that this is 24 gold. If we buy this and sell this at 27 gold, gold, we can flip it for one gold of profit. So I haven't been making dramatic profit, but I'll just show you. Uh, this is actually a pretty good idea. So I bought at 24 gold. I'm listing this at 27 gold. And now what's happening is I know this will definitely sell at 27 gold. So I make one gold for each of those items I bought. And I bought about 105 of those. So I make 105 gold by doing this because I know there's a bigger resistance at 28 gold. I'm not going to fight the 7,000 items over there, but I think it will sell at 27 gold. So I know the fee is 2 gold. So just flipping this makes me about 100 gold. And this is something I want to show you guys. <clears throat> now, because the update is earlier, the how people sell and how people trade may be a little different. And I do know the price will slowly go up after the weekly reset. 
So if you do see the trend over here, I'll make a detailed video on this, but I'll just briefly want to talk about this. So if you do see the fee is over here after 20 to 40 gold, the fee is 2 gold. If you see a gap of 3 gold difference with certain items, you can make the additional difference. I am only making 1 gold, but it is a really safe 1 gold that I can make. And just to show you guys, in the previous times, I've done this so many times by flipping those and making a lot of gold. So making 1 or 2 additional gold by doing this is actually a really good way to make additional gold during the, waste set, uh, during the reset and also before the patch. Now we can also do something similar to make the gold during the weekly reset and also because it's an early weekly reset. And we can do some trade on Wednesday as well with this method. Is that if you monitor the market and if you see a bigger resistance of a certain point, let's say we can see resistance. Actually, the solar blessing is it's okay. So what I saw is the resistance is about 89 gold. So we can definitely sell something at 89 gold. And if I get something that is 80 gold and buy it and I sell at 89 gold, this is more of like a quicker flip because of the change of the date of the patch and also because it's a volatile of prices at the moment. Now just be careful guys, you do want to monitor this properly before you do this method because I have been doing this for a long time and I know which point this can sell and which point doesn't sell. I will try to make a video on this. I do think this can be a quick and easy gold and this have less risk involved if you know what you're doing. So don't go doing this blindly because I've just showed you guys a small demonstration but I want to give you guys a full guide video very soon about this part.